find me Richard Sinewebo, you are welcome to Blue Bloom's Artwork channel. I'm super delighted to have you here. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome. Thank you so very much. Your presence always do mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm super excited to have you here. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so what we're making today is a special craft. It's called a wearable craft, but I'm not going to tell you. So, my lovelies, are you all sitting as always? Are you ready to learn something new today? Sure you've been enjoying all the crafts we've been making. Okay, let's go. It's a hat. It's a hat. So, we're making a hat today. Wow. Are you excited as I am? I'm so delighted. So excited. So, are you ready? Are you all sitting? Okay, we sure do know a lot of things we can use our hat for, right? Yes. Okay, let's create. Markers and crayons. Then we have 14 inches diameter with center circle 5 inches, 8.5 inches diameter, 25 inches by 4 inches strip. That's long strip of card EU glue. Let's begin. Okay. So the first thing we are doing is by, um, we'll be pushing the flaps up. That's the flaps on the big circle. So um, we push the flaps up. We push them up. Remember, crease the lines before you start pushing. So that makes it so easy for you. Easy, so easy. Remember, you can use the cover of your pen to crease. You can use blunt pencil to crease. When done, repeat the same thing with the 8.5 inches circle. That's the circle that is going to go to the top of the of the hat. It's going to be at the top of the hat. So we do the same thing now. If you look at the way the flaps are being folded, you now for the bigger circle you did it upwards, for the smaller circle you're doing it downwards. Good. So now that's ready. So you make sure it's well creased. Okay, now it's time for us to um, fix this long strip. That's the strip. It's time to join the strip. So apply your glue, apply glue on the flaps of the big circle and the small circle. So apply your glue. You can apply your glue in the zigzag form. If you're not using Hue, if you're using Top Bond or um, Elma glue or um, Evo stick so um, you can use broomsticks to apply it or um, pencil so now apply glue on the flaps of the smaller circle as well so you do that remember like I said if you're using all other glue all the other types of glues um, use something to apply it but if it's in a tube or in a, in a container that is easy for you to um, easily apply it on the flaps then it's fine okay so you apply the glue keep doing that you do that round it and when that is done leave to let it dry remember dry a bit it's time to fix the strip so what you do is hold the strips with your right hand and then position it to uh, balance with the crease line on the bigger circle then start sticking the um, gluing the flaps to the strips gently you do this gently gently step by step until you get to the uh, until you get to the other end of the strip now it's time to join the ends together so now apply your glue then join the hand remember when you uh, a lot of times when you're using here you you allow to dry a bit okay so now it's time to fix the top so what you do is pick the top up um, turn it over now remember to turn the art over so now when you turn it over you fix the top through that other side and then you push it in you start fixing step, step by step remember flap by flap gently so you turn it over the other you turn it back to the other side and then you press it together properly so that it gets stuck properly now that's done it's time to pattern so now you are free to choose your pattern think, think of whatever pattern you like you, it could be for um 
um, it could be for a party, a birthday party, it could be for um, into house sports, it could be for a play in the class or a play for a particular subject or just an extracurricular activity. So um, think of a, of a motif. Now motif is a unit of a design. It's, um, it's that one thing that you use to create a design. And a lot of times, remember, if we have to do this, it's always being repeated. Repetition is even one of the principles of art. So you have your motif. Now, if you see here, one of my motif is the musical sign. Um, I mean, musical notes. So one of my motif is a musical notes, which I used for the um, middle part of the art. Now, then I have the wavy line. I used as the tip of the art and tip of the top of the art. Okay, so when you're done doing your pattern, the patterning, you trace, remember? You trace your pattern and then add colors the way you want it, pattern it, make sure it's balanced, which is another principle of art. Balance, balance, balance is very, very important. So now our art is ready and you can fold it the way you want it. So mine here is a musical hat. So it's a top hat, a musical top hat. Okay. Oh, welcome back. That was awesome, right? Wow. It was a very nice craft to make. We sure have learned a new thing, right? Beautiful. Okay, so we can see my hat. As always, you send your pictures to me. So you take a picture of yourself wearing your hat. Okay, don't forget the email to send your pictures to is in the description below. I am so eager to see your beautiful creation as always.